Today I'm gonna to walk you through how to add content like watermarks, logos, Photoshop files, PNG files into your Adobe Rush video, so stick around. What's going on everybody, Claudio here, and welcome to my channel where I share tips, tools, and tricks to help you share your story. Today I'm walking you through how you can add Photoshop cutouts like this, PNG files like this, video layers, watermarks, logos, all those types of things into your Adobe Rush video. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. I've got a project opened up here and have a video clip already added. We're gonna use this to demo adding all that content that I mentioned earlier. So let's go ahead first off and open up the layers view here so we can see all the layers. And we're going to bring in all those different media that I mentioned again. We're going to click on the plus sign here here and click on media and I have a folder already set up with the temporary content that I'm using here so let's click on here I have a PNG file here Photoshop file with my logo I also have another logo that is PNG and that I use for a watermark and then I have a video clip here so I'm going to go ahead and just click on all four of these as you can see here at the bottom I have the four selected. I'll go ahead and click on add and Rush will go ahead and add them into my timeline. Now I'm going to go ahead and close this out. So as you can see, it added it to the end of my timeline. I have that PNG file here. I have the Photoshop logo. I have my watermark and then I have a video clip here. Now, as you can see, they're all sized differently, so I'm going to have to make some adjustments. First off, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of demonstrate by bringing in the PNG here. And in order for me to see it on top of my video layer, I have to actually drag it and lay it on top. So as you can see here, I have kind of like my cutout of myself here that I took a picture and it's overlaid onto the video clip. So if I click on play here, you're going to see it come in and then it's going to drop out now obviously it's a bit too large for this uh, video clip so what I'm going to do is make sure and select that layer there here's where I see a lot of people get stuck and not sure what to do when they're trying to make adjustments you have to make sure and select that layer I've done it before where I actually adjust the wrong layer so let's go over here to the transformation button and we will just go ahead and make a scale down version of that and then what I'll do is make adjustments and probably drop it in the lower left corner here. Maybe make it a little bit smaller. You know, this could be kind of your logo or watermark. So let's move it over here and adjust the vertical positioning. And there it is, I've got it. I can actually stretch it out if I want to throughout the whole video clip. But I just, again, want to demonstrate, I'm going to move it over here so we can see all the different media types. So here I have, this is going to come in and then it's going to drop out and it's a quick jump cut there. So now I have my PSD file and I'm going to drag that up here. And if I go ahead and hit the play button, it's full size because that's the way I have it set up. So this Photoshop file, I actually created with a transparent layer. So that's an important piece if you have a Photoshop logo or some sort of file you want to make sure it is a transparent background that way you can see through it when you add it on top of a layer here and same thing i'm going to go ahead and make an adjustment here and that logo is going to go on the let's put that on the upper left here you know it could be right there or it could be where i set it up in the middle where it starts off my video, you know, my main logo, or I can have it at the end. So let's go ahead and make just a tad bit smaller, make some fine tune adjustments here, right about there. And again, that is a Photoshop files PSD. Now over here, I have a watermark. And if I click here, you're not going to see it above the layer because it's at the end of the timeline. So we're going to do the same thing here, drag it over here. And again, it's full size. That's the way I saved it. This is PNG saved with a transparency on the file. So that's an important piece. You wanna make sure, save it as a transparency or with a transparency, I should say. And we're going to do the same thing here, make some adjustments. I use this one pretty much for all my videos that I 
create on uh, Adobe Rush that I share on social media. I like to brand my content, so that's really important to me. Let's people know who I am. So let's go ahead and move that one over to the right side and maybe just make it just a tad bit smaller. And one thing I also do with this watermark is I like just so it's not bold, even though it's good to be bold, is I'll adjust the transparency, you know, all the way down. Instead of being a hundred percent or 99, I kind of maybe go about, you know, 20 something percent. So it's not, it's there, it's kind of uh, subtle and that's kind of the approach I like to take. So that's the watermark there. And now the last piece I'm going to add is an actual video layer of kind of my social media accounts here. So I'm going to move that here. And this one right here, I created in After Effects, if I recall, and I made some adjustments to the Alpha channel. So if you have After Effects, you can create content like this. You just have to make sure that you save it as a movie file and then that Alpha channel I think you have to make it transparent. It's been a while since I've done it, but um, I basically made it once and I use this all the time. And now what I'll do here for this is make some proportion adjustments and bring it over here to the left and bring it down. And I use this one on my main videos that I share on YouTube. It's already time, so when I bring it in here it has the animation channels open up and then it stays there for a little bit you know while I'm talking in my video just like I'm doing now and then it kind of fades out so that again is a movie file but it was saved with a uh, the alpha channel adjusted so it's transparent um, so that's the important piece when you're doing something like that in After Effects you want to make sure and save it whichever way you save it with the transparency so that you can see it like this in Adobe Rush. So here we have four different types of files. We have a cutout PNG of myself, and then we have the PSD file, Photoshop file with a transparency, which is used as my logo. And then I have a watermark PNG, again, saved with a transparency. And then the movie file that was created in After Effects, with the transparency added to it as well when I exported it. So there you have all the four different types. There's probably more Photoshop files and different types of content you could add. You just wanna make sure it has a transparency layer to it. I hope this video was helpful, something that you can use the next time you want to add your own Photoshop files, video files, or cutouts into your Adobe Rush videos. If you have any comments or questions, please do leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and then click on the little bell to be notified for future videos. And please do share this video with others so that YouTube will share it with a larger audience. Thank you again for watching. Until next time, be good to one another. Peace. I'm out.